Hey guys! So I really love to do tag videos and another tag that has been going around is the this or that tag which they give you two options and you gotta choose which one you prefer out of both. So let's get right into it. Blush or bronzer? Definitely blush because I mean bronzer really. I'm already bronze, I don't really need that. Um, I know a lot of people like bronzer, like to warm up their skin tone, add a little tan, add a little glow. But I'm kind of golden and tan and glowy already, so it's all blush for me just to add a pop of color. But I don't really need bronzer or use bronze. I do use it sometimes, but I'll use it as like a blush. Lip gloss or lipstick? It's all lipstick for me. Um, lip gloss is a bit too sticky and... E, so I'd rather wear a lipstick. I actually really love the matte formula lipstick, so I'm all lipstick. Eyeliner or mascara? Now, if you had asked me this question years ago, I would have said eyeliner hands down because I always used to line my waterline, and that was the only thing I'd do when I thought it was cute. But these days, it's definitely all mascara. Like, I will leave the house with just mascara on. I don't have to line my upper lash line or my waterline. I really don't care, but... Definitely, definitely mascara. Foundation or concealer? This one's easy because I don't really use concealer except for maybe under my eyes, but I can also use just foundation under there, so it's all foundation for me. I can use very light, thin layer of foundation and pack it on a little extra in the areas that I need a little bit more coverage, but I don't really use concealer, so foundation. Neutral or colorful eyeshadows? Okay. For me, it's all about colors. If I'm wearing eyeshadow, it's going to be colorful. It's just, just how I do it. If I'm going to go for a natural look, I won't be wearing eyeshadow. It's just plain blank lids and maybe eyeliner, but it won't be neutral eyeshadow. Like, I won't put on a nude eyeshadow right now. Like, right now, it's just eyeliner. I'm not wearing a nude eyeshadow or anything. So, I just feel like if I'm going to put effort into putting on eyeshadow, then it's going to be a bold, colorful, intense look rather, rather than a neutral look. Pressed or loose eyeshadows? Hmm, this one is tricky because I really like pressed eyeshadows if they're pigmented, but I find that I get more pigmentation from loose eyeshadows. But then again, loose eyeshadows are a little bit more tricky to work with. Um, I prefer my pigments, so I'm going to go with loose eyeshadows, even though I use both and I like both, but loose. Brushes or sponges? Brushes, come on. Have you ever seen me use a sponge? Alright, wait. That's a lie. I will use a puff, like a makeup puff. I might use a sponge if I get to it, but... Brushes hands on. I can get away and do a makeup look without even looking at a sponge. So, brushes all the way, hands down, brushes. OPI or China Glaze? I have both and don't really reach for either. So, uh, China Glaze has more fun colors. So, I'm going to go with China Glaze. Long or short? Short. I like my nails like right now they have no polish on them but they're short. They look long because I have really long nail beds and that's from years and years and years and years of pushing back my cuticles. But um, I have really long nail beds so my nails don't even have to be long for them to look long and luxurious. So definitely short for me. Acrylic or natural? Now I've been natural for a few years now. I used to rock acrylics day in day out But now it's just all natural for me and I prefer it that way because the acrylics weaken your nail beds My um, my nails used to feel really sensitive and tender like they were so thin they hurt so definitely natural for me Brights or darks? Brights all the way. I love colorful, bold nails, especially on my toes. I don't think I've ever worn any dark nail polish on my toes. On my fingers, I branched out a little bit, especially with the whole flakies and those sparkly top coats that look great over dark nail polish. I've been trying to do that a little bit more because I really love it. And like the magnetic polish looks great with the dark and the colorful effect. So I've been branching out with darks, but it's all brights for me. I love bright colors. Flower or no flower? So I think this one is about a 
flower decal on my nail. I don't need a flower. I ain't got time for that. So, no flower. Perfume or body splash? Perfume all the way for me. I don't even own a body splash. Like, I get really sensitive to smells or scents, I should say. And I just can't stand that overwhelming body, sweetie, sweetie. Blah, 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 blah. So it's perfume for me where it will fade out. You'll stop smelling. You'll stop smelling. Other people smell it. And I like light, fresh scents. I don't like, oh, sweet, sweet, and flow, flow, and rosy, rosy. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Lotion or body butter? This one's kind of tricky because I use lotion, but I use this really creamy, thick lotion that um, really moisturizes my legs and really, like my skin, and really keeps that moisture in and makes it silk and smooth. But it's not the regular lotion. Like, I can't use a regular, like, that light lotion. It don't do nothing. It don't feel good on me. It don't, f not, it's, so it's like close to body butter, but it's not. But you get what I'm saying? Like, it's all confusing, but it's lotion that I use. So, lotion, body wash, or soap. I use both in the shower. I use a body wash for my body and then soap for the hot spots. Yeah, but in a bind, if all I had was body wash, I wouldn't feel as clean. So you have to choose which one you choose, really, fast. And it was soap, because soap, I could do everything with soap and feel nice and clean and fresh, but with the body wash I'd feel like something was undone, so soap. Lush or another bath company? Alright, so I'm gonna understand the hype with Lush because everybody and their mother decides that I'm a go and get bath bombs and this your foolishness and soap this and it's soap. Clean your skin. Oh, but it's all natural and organic. No preservatives. Lord Jesus, everybody needs to calm down. Alright, it's not that serious. Plus, I'm not gonna spend nine dollars on a chunk of soap, okay? You ever going to lush your fancy them price? No, my pocket can bear them something there just to wash down the drain. No, and no other bath companies getting it either, cause like bath and body works. No, Minaga, you need a fucking bath soap. I use Iris Spring, our course, our dial, or one of them something there. It's not going to be any of these fancy dancy bath companies. Jeans or sweats? Now this is funny because I did post this on Twitter once about um, not owning a pair of sweats. Like to me, sweats were this... Alright, in college the people that wore sweats, especially the girls that wore sweats were just sloppy, slap and dash, put on something, roll out a bit and come school. And I understood that you were a college student, whatever, but I just don't see as a grown ass woman or grown ass man walking around in sweats where are you going like you can just put on a pair of jeans or something that look like you put some effort into your attire like oh but i'm just going to the grocery store okay so at the same time i take it put on the sweats at the same time but i take it put on the pants but i get it people like the comfort and that and but i didn't grow up in that culture i mean in jamaica you're not wearing a sweatpants gonna wear you got sweat and you got hot and you're not having the time for that so put on your shorts or your skirt or whatever so i didn't grow up in that culture because it was too hot to be wearing sweatpants all right but then new york is cold i get it and then um started going to the gym what do you wear to the gym sweatpants so i own sweatpants now but they're for the gym and I can see wearing them to the gym or even, yeah, like you said, to the corner store or something, but to like just wear them, just for wear them. After a certain age, I just put yourself together. Just do a little thing. Put a little effort into it. I'm just saying. You can, there are really comfortable pants out there, really comfortable jeans you can get. So, I don't know. Jeans. Long sleeve or short. Now, I had this thing where, all right. My collarbone used to be really sharp, so I wouldn't wear like sleeveless stuff. Like I was real self-conscious. Not that I had a problem. I was just a little bit self-conscious. Like I don't want the bone to stick out and look too, too like me. I try to catch water in a them crevice here, but um, but I never wore long sleeves either because I just didn't get into long sleeves. Again, with the weather and the culture that you grew up in, and not the culture, just the country I grew up in was warm. So it was always like short sleeves. 
now is short sleeves, strapless, spaghetti straps, regular tank top strap kind of things. So, short sleeve. Dresses or skirts? Dresses! Because a dress is just one piece. Like, you could just put on a dress, put on your shoes, and you're out. With a skirt, you kind of have to pair it with a top or a thing, and you got to do this whole thingamajig that a skirt is just one, bam, done. But I do like the skirt thing where you can mix it up at the same time, but I much prefer dresses because they're easier. Stripes or plaid? Alright, I ain't even got to get into this. Stripes. What I look like in plaid? I don't think I own one plaid thing. No, I have a plaid panty. But that's it. Stripes. Stripes. Vertical, horizontal, I don't care. Bring it. Flip flops or sandals? Sandals, I hate flip flops. I hear the flop, 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 flop. Lord, me not like this. Lord, what's a sauna nine? Woo! Mm. And then people always are just a drag them foot and just a blap, blap, blap. It just sound awful and it just look lazy. But I look little cute sandals, man. Especially now, them start me the little cute thing, them where them comfortable and them easy to put on. But them pretty sandals. Scarves or hats? I don't even own a hat. Scarves. I wear hats like, I don't cover my head and I don't know how to wear or not. I don't bash a hat but I don't know how to wear it or how, what to pair it with and how I'm going to look full full. So scarves. Studs or dangly earrings. I'm in between but I prefer a stud because I could just wear a stud and just it'll be fine. Like diamond studs and I'm out the door. Easy, simple studs. Necklaces or bracelets? Necklaces! I Bracelets, alright let me tell you. I try now to wear bracelets and accessorize and stuff because it's cuter. It's nice to accessorize. I like people that put the little arm candy on and it's cute. But as soon as I get to work, those things are off on my desk sitting down because I hate things on my wrists, especially when you type in. Oh, so necklaces. Heels or flats? Heels all the way. I think I answered this before in another video, but heels all the way. Love heels. I just love how they make your legs look. I love how tall they make me. Like, I get super tall and I'm like, yeah, look at me. And then they just dress up any outfit. So heels. And I look stupid sometimes going someplace. Like, I'm going bowling, but I'm in heels. I get bowling shoes anyway, so what's the difference? Cowboy boots or riding boots? I never liked cowboy boots on me. Like, they look funny on my feet. So... Riding boots all the way, and I actually, this year, just bought my first two pairs, so. Riding boots. Jacket or hoodie? Well, I don't even own a hoodie, so jacket it is. Forever 21 or Charlotte Russe? Okay, so I used to go to Charlotte Russe when I was younger, but then I'm looking at their stuff now, and it looks cheap, but then they sell it for, like, Mad expensive, you're like, really, Charlotte? I thought you're going with that's how the thing set up nowadays. No, so Forever 21 because they, they have cheap stuff, but you can find some things that don't look that cheap, and you can find some quick basic things there. So, Forever 21 Abercrombie or Hollister? I've never been inside either of those stores. I don't know, I'm never going on none of them yet because them just look not for me. So Neither Saks Fifth Avenue or Nordstrom. I love both those stores. I love both of them. Um, Saks is a little bit more high end because you can find like the Gucci and the Fendi and the Prada and the Louis Vuitton sections. But then Nordstrom has that too. So, but Nordstrom has a lot more. I don't know. Like the, I think the Saks and the Nordstrom in my area. I prefer the Nordstrom over the sex, but I love both stores, like they're both awesome, but Nordstrom. Curly or straight? Now, I can wear my hair both curly, well, semi-curly, mm, or straight. I prefer it straight, I just like how much easier it is to handle and it's sleeker and more polished, so straight. Bun or ponytail? I prefer a ponytail. It's quick, grab it up, da da da, done. I love a long ponytail too, I really like those, so ponytail. Bobby pins or butterfly clips? Aren't butterfly clips like a uh, high school thing back? That's when I wore bob um, butterfly clips back in high school in Jamaica, but I don't wear them now. Like, what do look like in a 
Go see me with a butterfly keep just peanut bread yes, huh? Ready for out and touch the road? No. Bobby pins. <laughs> Hairspray or gel? I used to wear gel a lot because it holds my hair down really nicely and it's easy to use. But then it leaves your hair tacky so I didn't really like that. So up on like a year ago or so, I found a great hairspray that holds my hair without flaking because that was my issue. Hairspray flakes and looks crazy. But I found a great one and so now I'm a hairspray girl all the way. Long or short? Long, definitely long. I've been waiting for this thing to grow forever. It's growing a little bit longer each day so I'm happy with that. Long. Light or dark? Now I've done light, I've done dark. My natural color is dark and I actually like dark more on me because it brings out certain features that with the light hair it kind of washes it out so I prefer dark. And so does my husband. Side sweat bangs or full bangs? I will go with side sweat bangs. I've never done a full bang like I have clip-in bangs and I look crazy with them so I know on my face and my features with my hair side sweat bang is better but I don't like bangs so I don't have a bang I might have layers short layers in the front but not a bang no but side swept if I must up or down I prefer it down but sometimes when I don't wash you know when you don't wash your hair every day then I go up so it's like half and half but I if, if I could I would prefer it down all the time Rain or shine? Alright, so this is a weird thing for me. I love sun and I love when it's bright and fun outside and it's warm and you're getting all woo. I love that kind of weather. But I also love a good storm, like a thunderstorm. I love that. Kind of, but I'd have to be home. So if I'm home, I love rain. Like I love a storm. I love the thunder and lightning and ooh, I love a storm. Like Hurricane Sandy, thank God there was not any damage out where I am like that really affected anything crazy but I know a lot of people suffered through that but as I sat there I kind of enjoyed the storm like the wind and the craziness I I'm weird I don't know I'm weird but I like that but if I'm out and about I prefer it to be sunny so it's a toss-up summer or winter hello summer all the way remember I'm Jamaican so I grew up on an island where it's pretty much summer every day Okay, it's summer weather every day. Alright, it gets a little bit cooler around Christmas time. Get like a cool and thing in that them chilly. I need like a sweater or like a something, like a like a pullover. But I much prefer summer. Winter sucks. It sucks so bad. It's kind of pretty sometimes, but it's cold and it's icky and I hate it. So summer. And how ideal that you're here in the ice cream truck right now. So very summer-like, huh? And since the ice cream man is here, chocolate or vanilla? It's all about chocolate for me. Have you seen my husband? Yeah. East Coast or West Coast? Well, you know I live on the East Coast, so it's East Coast every day. I'm repping it all day out in them streets like thugging, bar style and shit. No. I don't really care. East, West, not so. No, 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 I lie. I like the not. Up there is cool. I don't appreciate it. I like the not. And West Coast, I'll tell you right now, West Coast weather. Ooh, I love it. I love it. It's so awesome out there. It's really pretty, but it's really expensive and... I don't know, I, like, I don't really like the West Coast lifestyle, so it's I'm an East Coast girl just because of the lifestyle and the stuff. The weather, I will take the West, but the life and the culture and the stuff and stuff, East Coast. So, East Coast, rep it from left to right, East Coast. What? East Coast. Okay guys, so that's a wrap for my this and that. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to leave a comment, thumbs up, subscribe, all that good stuff. Add to your favorites. And if you want to leave a video response, feel free to leave one down below. I'll leave the questions in the description box so you can see what the different options are. And I'd love to see what you guys come up with. So thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!